Good day, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is February 5th, 2021, and today is first Friday of the month, Friday within the fourth week in ordinary time. And our gospel for today is from the account of Mark chapter 6, verses 14 to 29, and I would like to share it with you. Bear with me because it's a little bit long. King Herod heard of the miracles of Jesus, for Jesus' name had become known. Some are saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead, and for this reason, these powers are at work in him. But others said, it is Elijah, and others said, it is a prophet, like one of the prophets of old. But when Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. For Herod himself had sent men who arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison, on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because Herod had married her. For John had been telling Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to kill him. But she could not, for Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man, and he protected him. When Herod heard John, he was greatly perplexed, and yet he liked to listen to him. But an opportunity came when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers and for the leaders of Galilee. When the daughter of Herodias herself came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his guests, and the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I will give it. And he solemnly swore to her, Whatever you ask me, I will give you even half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What should I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. Immediately, she rushed back to the king and requested, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. The king was deeply grieved, yet out of regard for his oath and for the guests, he did not want to refuse her. Immediately, the king sent a soldier of the guard with orders to bring John's head. He went and beheaded him in the prison, brought his head on a platter, and gave it to the girl. Then the girl gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good day, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, we heard about the, the story of uh, John the Baptist, how he was beheaded because he keep on publicly criticize Herod and his uh, immorality with Herodias. Can you imagine you are taking the wife of your brother and John is telling him that it is not lawful, you know? Now, the point of our reflection for today is I would like to answer the question how to tell the truth. To facilitate this question, let me share with you 3B. B. B, B. First B. Like John the Baptist, be brave. Be brave. To be brave means to be strong in the face of fear. There is a, there is a horrible fear, but you are strong enough. You are not afraid. You are not scared. And that is being brave is all about. Like John the Baptist, be fearless in front of the abu abusive giants. Be fearless in front of the abusive authority. Like, be like David, you know, in the face of proud Goliath. Don't be scared. Have the ability to move forward in spite of the horror of uh, fear. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, like John the Baptist, Never let fear paralyze you. Never let threats paralyze the truth. That's why, like John the Baptist, if you smell 
something fishy, have the courage to expose it so that you will not be suffocated by its own stink. If you smell something fishy, expose it so that you will not be suffocated or be a victim of its own stinks. Be brave like John the Baptist. And second, be. It's similar to the first one. It's a synonym anyway. That is, be bold. This is a synonym of being brave. But being bold means you have the courage of uh, not being shy. You have the you have the power of not being hesitant to shame the devil. It's just like being a whistleblower. You are you have the capacity to expose the hidden truth. Like John the Baptist, you know, criticize publicly the immorality of uh, your authority. Like John the Baptist, even if someone holds the key of power, never hesitate to expose the truth that is being bold. You know, you don't care who is, you don't care about the power, about the status of the person, because what matters to you is the splendid, the, the, the fullness of truth, the reality of truth. What matters to you is the importance of truth. Friends, like John the Baptist, break the culture of hypocrisy. Mute the faith. You know, do not let fake people scare us. Silence the imposter and dump the pretender. How to do that? Our first reading is telling us, never allow the truth be covered up by money. Never allow the truth be silenced by the power of money. Our first reading says, and I quote, keep your lives free from the love of money. Because sometimes there is a tendency for people they know the truth, but the truth remains uh, covered because of money. Never allow the truth be covered up and be silenced by money. Friends, push yourself and be comfortable being uncomfortable. Be a daredevil. What I'm trying to tell you is this. Never compromise our moral, moral principles because of fear. Never compromise the truth because of money. And I told you this, I do not know if you remember it, but make it a habit to hurt someone with the truth than to comfort them with a lie. I say it again. Make it a habit to hurt someone with truth that to, than to comfort them with a lie. Blew the whistle in the face of injustice. Telling the truth and making someone cry is better than telling a lie than making someone smile. Be bold. And final B, believe in God. Because God is our helper. That is very clear in our first reading of today. And you know, believe in God because the truth will always prevail. No matter how powerful the one who hides it. The truth will always prevail. It will come out like a smoke. It will evaporate. You cannot keep the truth. The truth will always prevail. Believe in God, for God will be our strength. And you know what, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters? God is still good, even life is not. John the Baptist was beheaded because of the truth. And you know, if you're going to ask me, I would rather lose my head 
for the sake of truth like John the Baptist by keeping it yet ignoring justice yet ignoring the truth and ignoring what is ignoring what is good for everybody my dear friends my dear brothers and sisters it's good to ask ourselves today are you ready to lose your head for the sake of truth like john the baptist be brave be bold and believe in the power of god